This video is brought to you by ForkFest.Party It's gonna be a party It's funny how the last, essentially the last Ridley-O I composed and narrated dealt with Orson Scott Card and the, the subject of meat eating and now this one, ostensibly unrelated, deals with both of the same topics, or at least they come up. This is an observation, one I think no one else seems to be making, about space colonization. Most, I don't know, Western thinking, or maybe even world thinking, seems to just take for granted that humans will, if they find life, conscious life, they will just colonize that place. People are already talking about colonizing Europa and Enceladus. Enceladus. These are moons of Jupiter and Europa. Or, uh, sorry, Jupiter and Saturn. Respectful, respect, <laughs> respectively. These are both places that could certainly have, well, for, for all we know, they could have dolphin-like intelligences. They've both almost certainly got massive underground liquid oceans. Now it's bad enough that humans, sometimes including me, tend to make life miserable for other conscious life on the planet and are probably causing a mass extinction right now. But a lot of that is difficult to avoid. You know, I try to limit whatever pollutants I'm putting out by not driving very much and reusing things. I eat as little of meat as I can force myself to eat. Oh, I make the, the amount as small as I can force myself to make it. Unfortunately, I'm addicted to it a little bit. Gotta have just a little bit. But no one on earth needs or is addicted to any of the uh, creatures that might be alive on these other worlds. And the others that we will probably find uh, on places like Proxima Centauri or Galiza, what you might call it. If not there, then further out. Unless something dramatic changes, humans probably don't need anything that is in any of those places, except knowledge, except knowledge. On the other hand, humans have this opportunity that no species has ever had before, at least not in the known universe. They have the ability to expand and colonize almost infinitely without ever leaving the solar system and without, probably in most cases, interfering with conscious life. Probably hardly of the, in, probably hardly of the, in, hardly any of the asteroids have it. They're easier to land on than planets. They're easier to leave than planets. I've heard there are either millions or trillions of them in this solar system alone. I forget which. That's where humans should colonize because they can do it without hurting conscious beings, if any, and the resources there are more useful and easy to access, generally. As in, massively easier. Massively better. But historically, if you look where humans go, they and probably most species given the power, will kill off much of what's around them, even their own kind or their own equals. Obviously, I can't support any sort of use of tax dollars to prevent humans from being on Europa. And I'm not really saying they shouldn't be able to research it in person. But assuming there's conscious life on either of those, under either of those places, it might be possible for one group, privately funded, to lay claim to it and keep most people off. Sort of like Orson Scott Card's Pequeños were protected by a, a situation that limited colonization. And actually, that's a little bit different from what I'm proposing. In his book, the limits are placed by a governing body, the Hundred Worlds Alliance or something like that. This happens after humanity runs into its second sentient species, having genocided the first, and feeling really bad about it. Sorry, as you may have guessed, I'm out exercising. Anyway, later on it's certainly possible that 
a scientific expedition would find some sort of compound or life form that can help cure diseases or so forth or so or, <laughs> or some such that's possibly going to change my equation a little bit but I just want to open I just want to question the idea that humans should colonize places which have conscious life you know I don't know anything smarter than a, smarter than a fish since I haven't heard anyone else question it I might as well be the first that I know of that's what you'll be doing to yourself if you forget if you if you forget to attend fork fest what is fork fest well it's a little bit like pork fest it's also in New Hampshire at Rogers campground but you don't have to wait for it to start to participate go by their website check out the forum and the chat room get involved in planning it Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.